I'm Diani Khernant, an actress and voiceover artist with a lifelong love affair with books, voice, and all things literature. Getting lost in an epic tale, inspired by a biography, or motivated by non-fiction or self-help, I love to make the written word come to life. The first is an excerpt from Trackers by Dion Meyer. In that moment, I saw Lawrence Lariche. He stood beside the bedford. His eyes were fixed on her, an expression of utter fascination on his face. Shine here, she said to Swanee, and pointed at the first cage. She took a syringe and a bottle of liquid out of the case. The needle on the syringe was short and thick. I came closer to see. The spotlight lit up the foremost rhino. The animal was blindfolded. Bundled material protruded from one ear and hung down over the blindfold. The rhino moved uneasily, stamped a leg on the steel floor, bumped its head against the bars. The skin was lighter than I had imagined, dull grey and deeply textured in the bright lighting, covered with a rash of pinky-red septic growths on the neck, over the back and the butt of the creature. The second piece is from The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. It has been my perilous privilege over the past decade to undertake teaching forays into the groves of academia. It is my experience as a visiting artist that many academics are themselves artistic beings who are deeply frustrated by their inability to create. Skilled in intellectual discourse, distanced by that intellectual skill from their own creative urgings, they often find the creativity of their charges deeply disturbing. Devoted as they are to the scholarly appreciation of art, most academics find the beast intimidating when viewed firsthand. Creative writing programs tend to be regarded with justified suspicion. Those people aren't studying creativity, they're actually practicing it. Who knows where this could lead? The third sample is titled Vier Vreter by Leon van Nierop. Die groot man loop tot by Henu wat aan hom voorgestel word. Henu, dis Mike. Mike, Henu Barnard. Vertel wat jy my op die vliegtuig vertel het. Mike trek sy hand dier sy hare. Ons het hier die moerske shoot recht gehad vir 13 episodes. A show waar ons dieren gaan skiet wat in Limpopo gerehabiliteer word. 24 minute mal 13. Lekker nes eier. Toe tref die pop op die fan. Die SABC vou, die reeks word gekend en my vrou los my. Laas week werk ek aan proposals. Hier slaan die baljie toe. Skryf my meubels op. My vrou soe my en my skuldeiser soek hulle geld soos in gister. Was dit nie nou vir eibs nie? Hy sit sy hand om Abrie se Was ek op straat, Pella? Dit gaan donder sleg in die industrie. En wat gebeur? Die een repeat op die ander. Dis hoe hulle geld spaar. So ek staan op een van die daar by die robot. No job, no food, no show, no wife. Delk help iemand my. And here's some children's literature. Benjamin the Yellow Frog by Ferdinand Gernand and Marley van der Merwe. In the middle of the forest, in a tiny house made of lily leaves, a family of fussy frogs hustle to get ready for school. They are new to the neighborhood and everything has to be perfect. Mummy Frog hops around on her Pilates ball. Benjamin, stop staring at yourself in the mirror. You don't want to be late on your first day. Smiling, Benjamin, a smart and handsome yellow frog, stares in wonderment at himself in the mirror. He pushes out his froggy chest. I am special. I am clever. But then, Benjamin's big smile fades and he drags his frog legs out of the house. What if they don't like me? This is Diani. Thank you for listening to my samples. I look forward to working with you and giving your written work a voice.